Hey, we had a call come in. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with... Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The whistling man is gone! God damn it, I thought you locked him up. What's going on? Damned if I know, Nash! Mr. Russell, where are you now? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. I don't blame you. I would have been tempted to do the same. Have you both got a screw loose? You know what the Whistling Man's done tonight! This was not my idea! The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Yeah, then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked! No way out of there. None! Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... Don't be ridiculous, Peggy. It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Mooney, there's no way. Whoa, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. He seems really spooked. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. You'll like this next song. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. You stopped the show for a tape? Just go get it. Got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work now. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. But he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. He has an angry color? Oh, Forrest. I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. Right now, we need to play that tape. Probably never will again. And we've 
still not receiving any information about when you're fitting it into your Mindy programming. I'll be frank, I don't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Thatcher, you know his prior friendship with Mr. Nash. Prior and current friendship, you know. Poor mate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think the final breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way to the side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. How was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest? You know, Roddy Snatcher? Are you a big fan of Roddy? I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to K-Fan, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well... If that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. This must be it. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. I need a key to get in there. Did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, 
Happy birthday to my son, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, and most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruben, come face me, a true warrior at the gallows waste disposal plant. Guess what? This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh no. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father, and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr., and I approve this message. God, what a jackass. 100% grade-A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek? Ugh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. You know what to do. Hello, Collar. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> Who's there? Who is this? <sighs> Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or...? We sure did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. 
Can you run out back? No! What if he's outside? Waiting for me? Oh, God! Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house? Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout! If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. I can't do this! Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up while we try to figure out what takeout to order here's some music for your own midnight snacks let storm riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the glam jam peggy what places do takeout in gallows creek off the top of my head uh well there's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. That's it? Gallows Creek only has three places? You know, Forrest, just for once, I think you should be thankful that we're not in Chicago. All right, we'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work takeout client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. Got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... I just have to look around. Grilling spree. I better see what's on this tape. Don't take too long. Virginia needs our help.
run down a group of small cloth, five by five, seven, four, nine, eight, three, three, five. We've got barbecue, you'll die for it. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Need the key. That's not opening. Go Gallows High, I guess.
find anything useful? Remind me what I'm looking for again. The frat house by Virginia has been ordering takeout all night. We've got to figure out who they've been ordering from. Then place an order for the frat house with a note to call the station. Okay, but how do I figure out who they called? We need to think like frat boys, Forrest. What would you order if you were a frat boy? Mmm, cheap food and cheap beer. Exactly. Use your frat boy instincts to guide you. Check Brad's desk in the office. He's our food critic, so his desk is your best bet for food-related info. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. See what you find. Promotion, huh? Chalupa Cabra. Hmm. Find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Let's make the call. When you're ready, shut the music off. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza! May I take your order? Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? I need some garlic bread. I need the bread! Can do! <laughs> Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Sure, but <laughs> if you had to pick one. All right, all right. Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right, so between grilling spree and chalupa coppers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? 
or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Okay. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fredman Bunker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a goose prank. No, this is Forrest Nash, host of... Uh-huh, uh, sure thing, Goose. Uh, uh, listen, I need you to... Goose, come get beer. Your brothers are waiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? <laughs> Let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian! What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control it. So, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Okay, okay, radio man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just... Say no more. Plunker's moving the house. Forrest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, The Scream. Forrest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Grace. Oh my God. It's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. Whoa! The party has arrived! Oh, thank God. He's gone and... Oh! Oh, is that you, Radio Man? Don't worry, we brought the beer. Good times are here. I could use a drink. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Ooh, terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Oh. What small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Party's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Party, no! No free ads! <sighs> I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did save Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. 